Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm hot. And I'm sweaty. And there's flies out too. It's bugging me. Anyway. The bugs are bugging. Oh my lord. Whose idea was it to do this outside? It wasn't mine. Well, I figured it this way I could get you outside. I've been outside. Yeah, watch out. There's wasps flying around too. Guys, this is the most ridiculously hot weather that we've ever had. And I love hot weather, but I, this is not my kind of hot weather. This is the hot weather that you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. And I just did a vlog on the heat. And I know yeah. you're all dealing with heat right now. And a lot of you are dealing with hotter temperatures than what we have. Everybody's dealing with heat. It reminds me of Florida a lot. Like when I, in the morning when I go to take care of the chickens, as soon as I walk out the door, it's like a wall. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you go into a store that has air conditioning, you go outside and your glasses fog all up. Or like Tom brought out the camera, poof, fogged all up. Yeah, I had to grab a, uh, a microfiber cloth and yeah. wipe off the lens. And I know you guys are probably saying, well, why didn't you just do it inside? Yeah, why didn't we just do it inside? I don't know. But we're already out here now and I'm not moving. Yeah, all right. Tom still has a uh, froggy voice, sleepy a voice. Um, but anyway, we got a little bit of fan mail here we wanted to do. So uh, let me open this one. It looks like it was previously opened. Sometimes I open them just to, to check to see if uh, anything bad. It's not a very long one. Get out of here, V. Come on. I just hit that one. Is there a nest around here? It's all I need. I'm sitting near a nest. Yeah. Um, why don't put? Why don't you put your feet up and relax? Okay. Don't mind if I do. And enjoy this letter. I've been watching you for a long time. Jay Ortiz. I am glad that y'all love the fan mail that I sent you in the poem that I sent. I I will love a koozie mm. with all your signatures. Oh yes, I remember. He was the one with the uh, the Weber the Weber poem. Thing, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate everything I do, everything you do for your audience. And we're happy to call you uncle. P.S. Keep it going. That's I will nice. try Thank to keep you. it going. But I'm glad that you actually sent this because. I can definitely read that address on there. Um, Good. Let's see. Uh, wait a second. It doesn't have a road. Does that matter? Uh, it's a PO box. Does that matter? I guess it doesn't matter then, right? I guess. Actually, it don't I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if it's a PO box, I guess it doesn't have to have a road because it goes to the post office. I don't think it had a road for. Products that we used to have that no longer is applicable. For yeah, right, right. It didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't for a PO box. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna get that koozie signed for you before we mail it out. I signed it today. Um, Tom has to sign it, and I'll get Kevin and uh, and Joe to sign it, mm -hmm. and then we'll send that out to him. Your turn. I did all. The, I'm not doing all the work. I almost said I did all the work, but was it implying in any? way shape or form that you should or have I don't know about you guys but with this heat if especially here like if you have humid heat I don't know how it is out in Arizona because a lot of people say man I hope that umbrella doesn't blow away it's pretty windy out oh, yeah um, it's windy but today but oh, that feels good right there um, yeah, there it is but out in Arizona I know it's a dry heat mm -hmm. but I'm curious to know do the flies come out in the dry heat like here it, for some reason, when it gets really humid, the flies are terrible and they won't leave you alone. Probably because mm -hmm. you're sweating and they want to come on you and take a drink and poop on you. Probably. Go ahead. Dear Lawrence Abraham, I've been watching you on YouTube videos for... Let me guess. Levi? Yep. For a long time. I'd love to meet you someday. In person. How are you doing right now? I'm doing pretty good. Just hot. And buggy. I love your son Tom when he does pranks on you. <laughs> yeah. Not me so much, but uh, I guess this this is coming out after I got Tom back, guys. So I'm happy. Yeah. This is and Levi. I made money in the deal too, so it was really really nice. Huh? Yeah, I'm still gonna need that back. What? Anyway, um, yeah. So uh, guys, we love the letters. Keep sending us Thank letters, you, man. We love that. But uh, we also got this package right here to Uncle Larry and Tom. This hmm. came yesterday from UPS, and I hope it's not a box of chocolates, because if it is... Uh, That'd be a little melted. Probably a little melty, yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, there's a load in here too. A note. Three notes. I should have known that. Oh, a trivia game about things you ought to know. Ah. Huh. Wow, guys, I, I just got a new challenge for us to do. All right. Oops. And you drop. I dropped thing. something. Hopefully that one wasn't the note. Uh, let's see. No, that wasn't the note. Let's see what this is. That's not a note. That's a QR scoop. Here you go. A gift for you. Hi, Uncle Larry. Hope all is well. Hope you and the guys enjoy this game I found. Enjoying the videos and live streams from Abby Larson. Abby, thank oh, you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Uh, appreciate that. And we are definitely going to look forward to uh, doing a video on doing that game. Oh, uh, yeah. We're definitely going to do that. Uh, always looking for new ideas. Any of you guys ever have any ideas for some challenges or or games that we can play or something like that? Let um, us know. Let us know because I'm going to put that on the ground before it blows off the thing. Because um, okay. we definitely want to you know make you guys happy some people are saying something about uh, re revisiting the uh, eat it or wear challenge okay um, problem with that is it's really messy and it's a long challenge because then mm -hmm. you got to get cleaned up after the challenge is over and uh, we don't have I have one day to film with the guys so I have to pick and choose if I was going to do something like that I can't do any, a whole lot of filming of anything else right. on that day uh, we are planning see this will come out soon and then after that we'll be we're doing a chilling and growing guys and i hope you guys yeah. look forward to that because a lot of people have been hitting me up like where's the chilling and growing mm -hmm. I, I think the people that are saying that are on the other are going the other channel and they're or, or they're, they don't come on every day or maybe they're not getting notifications of all the videos Which and happens. they just happen to miss the chilling and growings but this is the channel we do the chilling and growings on now yep. um so and we're doing one and we're right now we're in the process of doing flashback videos Mm -hmm. of uh, chilling and growing because we've done so many different things but we'd like to revisit some things especially at the beginning because joe wasn't there right. for some of these things so we're going to do some flashbacks as long as it's a a decent thing like we're not going to probably do a flashback of something like skyrim chicken like we wouldn't right. do a flashback on that because that's just silly or like bacon burger like Although, they're good but it's like okay you put bacon on a burger it would be kind of funny to have Joe play Skyrim and then tell him to kill the chickens and they get killed. It would be fun. That should be better than not even like, tell him anything about the chicken to see if he does it on his own. That is true. That is, like I did. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, but there's other ones that we would do. And then, hey, hit, hit us up in the comment section here and let us know if there's a video that you would love us to redo, you know, um, of, of chilling and growing or um, I'm not a skit because you'd have to make a brand new skit. You don't want to redo a skit. Yeah. Uh, but a challenge, you know, or something like that. I know that, you know, we used to do uh, keeping it real videos. Mm -hmm. But the, the views dropped off really, yeah. a real lot on those. So we stopped doing them because it seemed like um, people weren't really interested in our opinions on things, you know. I guess if we hit the right topic, like if we're talking about grief or something like that, I guess it does fairly well. Right. Um, but but if we just like music, that didn't do well when we talked about music and stuff like that. Probably because of our audience and our our age, it's really not that close. I can understand that. You know. Um, but maybe we do a, a Q and A at some point too. Q and A's always be do do fairly well. Uh, always looking for ideas guys and you guys help us with some of that stuff so uh, definitely going to do look forward to that game there and in this heat for I just asked everybody like what do you guys do to stay cool and there's so many people that got a hold of me that said that they work mm -hmm. you know and uh, they work outside in this stuff yeah one of my friends works outside all yeah day and, uh, really oh yeah which, which one uh, he works at a golf course oh so like like groundskeeping maintenance stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. And yeah. he was saying that like he had to like fix what was essentially like a total mower for someone yesterday and that yeah. shouldn't have happened because it was just like improper what maintenance. Kind of, what golf course? Uh, which one? Is it close around here? Maybe. Yo, you got to talk to your friend to hook me up with some free passes to go there. We could, we could do a video. On, how does Tom just now tell me now this? How long has he worked there? Uh, a few years. 
I'm gonna punch you right in the face. I don't that think he has the ability to get free passes. Oh, to this I guarantee thing. he does. You work at a golf course, you can get free passes and hook somebody up. You hook your dad up with some free passes for golfing. What is wrong with you? I don't. Wow. Now I'm I'm hot and I'm angry. I just turned into angry guys. I've never been so disrespected ever in my life. Matter of fact, that would have been a great Father's Day present too. Four passes to go golfing. And you wouldn't even have to pay for it because he would have gotten them for free for you. I don't know if he can. No, he will and he can. How do you know? I know. Have you worked at a golf course? I know people that have worked in a golf course in the past that they don't anymore, but they got us free passes. Okay, what do they do at the golf course? What was their job? They were just in there working in the golf course. I mean, that's all. I mean, I, I remember one worked at the counter. So he would take your money. Okay, at the counter. He probably has that ability. Again, my guy's like like yeah. groundskeeping maintenance. No, he's got connections. to get. I, oh, yeah, he's got connections. At least half price or something. I, you do something. You give me something. And now that you said it, even if you got to pay full price for it yourself and give it to me, you got to do it. Because that's only fair. What I do you should, mean I got to do I it? I should have been golfing at this course a long time ago. You, you really got me going now. And I could go with Uncle Jeff. I can go with maybe JT and somebody else. Why do I have to call in favors to only benefit you? I can't go with Joe because Joe never has any time to go anywhere. I mean, that's true. Um, Kevin, uh, he's busy too. So it's like uh, Uncle Jeff and, and JT would definitely go golfing. Well, I don't know because JT's having a baby. Everything's screwed up now. So it might be me and Uncle Jeff going twice with four passes. So hook us up. Well, guys. Now I'm irritated and want to go golfing. Because I don't care if it's hot like this going golfing. You ride in a golf cart, you're good. You get out, take a shot, 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 take a shot. Are you not hitting it very far? You're not getting back in the golf cart. No, I'm talking about each shot. Then you take a shot and take a shot. Well, right, but you must actually, not be hitting it very far. Actually, drink a beer, take a shot. Yeah, you must not be going very far because it's like you got out of the golf cart. Keep taking shots and you keep taking shots, but you're not getting back in the golf cart. Well, you must not be going very far, or else you're leaving the golf cart way far behind. It was a bad. By that point, you'd be melting because uh, you'd be walking in this extreme heat. It was a bad hole, and it's because I took a lot of shots. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. I just wanted to be clear. Well, guys, I hope you appreciated this video. I'm sweating to death, so now I'm sweaty, and Tom's just hot. Because he doesn't have any sweat on him. I don't see one little little bead of sweat. Because it looks like you're in the shade for some reason. I'm partially. I and like look. Art. Look at this. Look at my color as opposed to yours. And he does have a little bit here, guys. If you notice that. He's got a little bit up in here now. So he has been out. He was out in the pool yesterday. Uh, I can't. And to tell you the truth, I can't even make him do work outside. I can't. Because I don't want to kill him. Because that's what will happen. He'd be passed out somewhere. It's too hot. It's too hot to do anything. Yeah. It's even too hot to do this video right now. So I don't know why we keep going. So guys, until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Please feel relaxed. I'll meet you at the lounge. You're the one who want to do it outside. <sighs> really? Well, you... You needed a little cooling off, didn't you? And not involuntarily. I'm sorry. Oh. Dang. That backfired. Ha ha.